What's up, Crimson Fleet? I am one of your hosts, Phoenix. And I am your other host, Titan. And welcome to NTAT. So in today's video, we have been playing Starfield, right? Yes. And absolutely loving it. And there's some beginning mechanics that we have discovered either by finding it or making terrible mistakes that we want to make sure that you don't miss when you jump in on September 6th. All right, so for my first mechanic, you are able to hide your helmet and your spacesuit when you're not in harsh environments. You do this by going into your menu, find the spacesuit that you want to use, and if you're on the Xbox controller, hit the right bumper, and this will either show the suit in settlements or it won't be. This allows you to showcase your apparel if that's what you'd like. All right, so my next one is the ability to change your appearance. Uh, when I first built my character, I had a beard that looked really good on my character, but in game, it didn't render like it was supposed to, and so I wanted to change it, and I found out that there's a vendor called Enhance. It can be found in any major city, but the very first one is in New Atlantis in the commercial district. This allows you to go right back into your creative character menu and change whatever you'd like. So I was really happy that I was able to find another beard, which was actually my second favorite beard that actually rendered like it was supposed to. All right, so something that's really helped me out is that whenever you leave a companion behind on a mission, you never have to worry about losing them. An activities mission pops up under the name Retrieve Awaiting Followers. This puts a waypoint directly to your companion so you never forget where you left them. This makes it easy to have a way to have your characters wait while you commit horrific acts without the consequences of them seeing you. Another really helpful tool is that in your crew roster in your menu you can find the location of all of your different crew and it will tell you what planet they're on and everything else. To access your crew roster, all you do is go to your menu, and then in the bottom left you click on your ship. From here you click crew, and then this will pull up your roster where you can see all the information you need. Unlike other Bethesda titles, sneaking does not come natural to all players unless it's one of your starting traits. Without the sneak perk unlocked, crouching does not hide you at all. I felt like this was a really interesting choice. Along with this, another odd choice is that the booster pack is another ability that you have to unlock the perk for, or you don't get to use it. Okay, so one issue that you're going to run into very quickly is that you're going to find yourself running out of space very fast. The amount of weight that you can carry is not as large as you think it is. So one quick mission of picking up weapons and armor, and you're going to be over encumbered. So this is where this tip comes into play. On your ship, you can actually store items. This is something that you definitely need to use. So if you head close to the cockpit, you will find the cargo hold on the wall. Some tips on things to store, I would definitely put all of your materials in there. You can craft through your ship. I would put my spacesuits in there as this is gonna segue into my next point. Spacesuits have different stats depending on which ones you have. They're gonna have your physical uh, damage resistance, energy, EMP, then you have thermal, corrosive, airborne, and radiation. Each suit is tailored to a different strength. And so instead of getting rid of suits, you need to keep different ones that have different strength, but you don't want to keep them on you because they'll weigh you down. So put some of them inside of your ship. That way when you land on a planet that let's say is high in radiation, you can switch to a suit that specializes in radiation. Because landing on a planet that has extreme conditions will pop up a message that say that your protection has been depleted. Uh, so let's say that you have a spacesuit that has a radiation of 20 protection and the planet has 30 radiation, then you'll start to deplete and you'll start to lose health. So you'll want to have some spacesuits that can take care of those. If you're anything like me, you're wondering how in the world do I get my suit back up to 100%? All you have to do is take shelter. So inside of a building or inside of your ship and the depletion message will be gone. So another tip is that you need to learn your ammo types. Running out of ammo in the midst of battle is a struggle I find all too common. Learning ammo types really helps me quickly identify what weapons I can use with the ammo dropped by the enemies. When purchasing ammo, it also makes life a million times easier. When you know what type of ammo you're using, you don't have to switch screens trying to remember, and it also ensures that you're only using one weapon of that ammo type. Alright, so on to the next one. Different boost pack types matter. You have four different types of boost packs, basic, 
power, skip velocity, and balanced. Basic has no special abilities and is just basic. Boost powers is one fast thrust. Using this has often given me fall damage and death in the heat of battle. So I wear this only when I'm exploring in low gravity planets. Skip velocity offers several weak thrust, but balance seems to be the in-between of power and skip velocity. And this has become my go-to in combat. It offers a boost just enough to get me off the ground, but weak enough to be in control. So Starfield allows you to accumulate crew, both story companion and you can hire crew members. But one thing they do a horrible job of letting you know is that at the beginning of the game, you can only have three crew members on your ship. So I made the mistake of recruiting multiple crew members and not being able to use them. So that's something that you need to look out for. There is perks later on in the perk tree that allows you to get more, but that's something that comes later on. So definitely plan for that. Because once you talk to a crew member and pay them, if you don't have room, you just lose them all together. So at that point, you paid them for nothing. And so for my very last one, and this is probably gonna be one of the most important ones to keep in mind, because more than likely, this isn't gonna be a positive for a lot of people, but you need to plot your character because you cannot change your skill points once you've invested in them. So what you wanna do as soon as you get your character is go to your skill points or go to your skill tree figure out what you want to do and then start to plot now as you play through the game there are going to be other perks that you're probably going to say hey this will be useful and that's fine but your base build of your character you want to make sure you have at least an idea of where you want to go with it again as i said there's no way to change this afterwards unless you completely delete your character and start over all right so this is actually a bonus tip here early game you are going to receive a note that's called the secret outpost go ahead and read this note and it will unlock a mission called mantis i suggest doing this mission as early Early as possible because the reward is really good but another tip is bring a whole lot of health packs and quick save a lot all right so that wraps up our tips and trick video so if you enjoy Starfield and enjoy this kind of content go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you never miss a video and join us every Friday morning we'll be there you, you be, be there, there. told me I need to cancel my camping trip and sell my circus tickets. She said I needed to avoid activities that are intense. Intense. Get it?